Hey everybody! As you can tell, it's a it's a Sunday Master vs. Many. I got my I got my beer shirt on, which I think I got from Thailand. So there you go, a little bit of a beer beer Sunday, right? Classic March Madness, man. Anyway, let's jump over and analyze this thing. Uh, taking a break from the festivities to do the the work. Now, what's going on here is we know that I am not in the ideal setup regarding how to best control and restrict the light squares as well as counterplay, but you know, position still about roughly equal philosophically. I think both sides are still playing for similar things. I, I talked about my ideas being twofold, right? One, of course, the traditional A4 here. I guess I need to move over to analysis mode, A4. So that on B4, knight to D5, uh, knight takes, pawn takes. We can, we can begin potential work on the queen side, opening up squares and trying to expose the pawn weaknesses, kind of typical. The other idea I wondered, because the position hadn't been played very often, is whether or not b3 is a move here. My idea is kind of uh, tricky, that I can put the bishop on a3 and possibly target the d6 pawn along with a plane of queen to d2 and, and rook over. But let's say something like knight to c5 happens, which seems like a pretty typical idea for black in the position. It puts pressure on d5. Uh, and if I'm forced to play knight to d5 anyway, now I wonder if you would even consider this. That seems like a, a kind of risk it to get the biscuit sort of approach, right? Giving up the dark square bishop, and with it uh, maybe tactics, but I don't I don't see anything concrete. How would I expose the diagonal? I probably can't because the bishop is protected twice, so that doesn't seem like a very good idea. If I'm forced to guard the pawn with some other sort of move by moving the knight or queen, I actually can't do it either way. So, so that kind of eliminates b3 for my analysis. I think knight to c5 looks like it's a real threat. Bishop to e3 would be a move if I was really going to consider wanting to give up the bishop pair, but I'm not. The only other move that I kind of wanted to just see what would happen on is b4. Now this is really uh, risky. It, it's an overextension of my own pawns on the queen side. Uh, maybe the c file becomes an issue. Obviously the c4 square opens up. But the idea is twofold, right? One of them being that maybe I have a4. So if like rook over and we play a4... And if pawn takes, and rook takes, knight to b6, rook back to, I assume, a1, the position is, is definitely heating up, right? Because I haven't, I haven't um, lost the e-pawn, unlike the other move I was considering, the slower approach of a3. b4 looks like fun. Now, are there immediate tactics with d5? Probably not, right? If I take here, and takes, and takes, and you go for this, we would assume that, that this is probably good for white given that the tempos don't seem to be leading to anything on the rook on e1. So let's say b4 and castles is played. Is a4 really that much improved because they can't play b4 themselves? I don't know. Takes and takes, again, is a move I'm just kind of assuming that black is going to want to play for, and maybe they can orchestrate d5 at the end of the line. And that makes sense. That admittedly makes sense, because when we look at something like this, now, now the d5 pawn is falling and the b4 pawn is falling. So I would have to be ready for both this move, c3, bishop back to c5 perhaps, and I'm probably going to lose the d5 pawn. Rook a5 is interesting, but it seems like... So b4 is interesting, and then but that makes me even think, like, what if they play knight b6 immediately, which would, which would plan to play for d5, and uh, without even the risk of the pawn... So if I'm if I'm forced to settle on something slower to guard it, D5 is D5 is is a very good takeaway for everybody. That the reason why I keep coming back to that naturally as a Sicilian player myself, as Black and as someone who's played against it, you should just know that usually when Black is achieving D5 safely, like all the tactics work out, it, it's immediately equalizing, if not liberating the pieces and being better for Black. And that means like if there's no tactics on the E pawn, if it actually works, this is a move Black should always be looking to do because structurally you've committed both the C and the E pawn which means that the d5 square and the d6 pawn are always potential weaknesses. So achieving them is a goal. And again, that's why we come back to the fact that the main lines here involve white playing knight to d5 earlier, as MBL did, or now even though all I'm doing is coming back to the move that I think is probably just obviously the best move, a4, um, I, think it's, I think it's a move I need to go for. I think I need to force the action on the queen side and establish a piece on d5 to prevent you from doing exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about where black strikes with d5 in the center. So there you go, right? That's what happens when you analyze it, you know, uh, and, and you think out your thought process. I think you come to the best conclusion, usually. 
So let's um, let's go for it here. I'm going to make my move. I'm going to play a4, which I think is going to maintain the balance of the position, at least for now. I know that all of you are very strong when all of your minds are put together. I, I totally expect to be worse in 10 moves, but let's learn something along the way, right? Shall we? Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Boom town. A4, there you go. Uh, as soon as it reloads and we have confirmation, it will say 23 hours and 59 minutes on you people. I don't mean you people like that, like you people. What do you mean, you people, Danny? I mean on you people, like on, on, on you know, you. You get it, right? No, come on. I mean, it's. I don't mean you people like that. <laughs> All right. So there you go. It's 23 hours and 59 minutes for you, the world, to figure out what you're doing. Way to go, you people. Have some fun.